what I like to suggest as a recommendation for people who are early on in this delegation game is looking at how you spend your time on your calendar. So for me personally, I block out every hour of my day is blocked out whether I'm working on, you know, let's talk to the audience for a second. If you're working on keyword research, if you're doing competitor research, listing creation, listing optimization, um, you know, if you're an arbitrage business, if you're looking to source the right deals, whatever, whatever it is you're working on, just making sure that you're really defining what you're working on. And at the end of the week, or let's say a couple of weeks that you do this exercise, you're able to actually understand where you're investing your time. And I would mark things mm-hmm. that must critically be you as a five and things that could be potentially you know, repetitive, re- repetitive or low-hanging fruit. Those might be a one or a two. Once you can sort of aggregate them out, you can say, right, here's 20 hours, 30 hours, 40 hours that could be spent on one set. So the mistake that most first time um, you know, the first time, not entrepreneurs, but first time delegators or people trying to bring on teams for the first time, you'll try and look for this catch all, this jack of all trades and master of none that can just do all these little bits and bobs or you build a task list. And um, what you'll find is you won't get someone who can, you know, they'll do things just good enough to get it done, but not at the level that's even remotely close to what you want to achieve. So I'd say, first, to give you a really sharp example here, have a situation where in keyword research and PPC management and these more analytical tasks that are you know numbers and data driven, you can build a role where they're doing multiple things, but that it's the same skill set because you don't want to find yourself in a situation where the same person is doing your keyword research and your PPC management, and they're also doing your design work and they're also doing your product development work. You know, think about yourself. We all like to think we can do everything, but the reality is there's a handful of things that we're really good at. Stay in your yeah. lane. So I'll pause there for a second, Todd, because I, like I said, I was and did go on the rant that I went on. And if there's anything in there that you want to dive into, I'll, uh, I'll take a breath and a sip of water. Yeah. One, one addition to that, I would say, as you're doing your work through the day and you find yourself procrastinating doing something, that's probably something to look at outsourcing as well because you're procrastinating it for a reason because you don't really want to do it. Um, Maybe it's something that you have to do, you know, like maybe some cash flow forecasting or something. You should probably do that yourself. But other things that uh, can be outsourced if you're procrastinating, that's something good to look at. But yeah, I I agree 100% with, with everything you said. Writing down, just have a notepad next to you. You know, a lot of people like to do everything digitally. I like to have an actual notepad a lot of the times where you can just write it down. It's just more convenient and easier. And you do that for a week or two and really find out what you're going to be able to outsource to an employee for sure. 